I don't often do a, a tool recommendation, but uh, I'm going to make an exception for this little tool. Um, I had an occasion there a week or two ago at work where uh, I had a job to do in a very small fastener. Um, I could not get it out of the installation, so it stopped me from doing what I needed to do. I need to get my shoe mail department to come and extract the screw and things just go on and on and on. You know, a five minute job that turns into five hours because of a simple screw that you can't remove in order to get access to something, you know? So I went looking for something that would fit in my tool bag is compact because obviously there's always a limit to how many tools you can carry, right? And um, I seen Vampire Tools, um, one of the guys at work actually had a pair of pliers. I thought, well, really pretty nice, pretty nice quality tools, you know, and they're, uh, they're made in Japan. So they're not $10. They're going to be 30 bucks, right? 30 Canadian dollars anyway, thereabouts. And, um, but you get what you pay for, right? So these are actually, uh, screw extraction pliers or fasteners. So these are just under five inches in length guys. They're, they're the smallest set that they make as far as uh, fastener extraction tools are concerned, but um, they do make um, at least um, one other size. I think two other sizes considerably bigger if you want them for bigger fasteners. But quite often you're in a situation um, like kind of I was where you can't use an impact tool. You can't use a cutter. You know, you can't drill a fastener out because you can't have metal uh, shavings in in the area that you're in because there's sensitive instruments or equipment that you just cannot expose it to that kind of uh, um, debris or foreign object potential foreign object damage so as i said i picked these up and um really interesting design if, i know i'm late to the party on these things by the way guys i think these things have been out for like i don't know five years ten years they've been out for a long time but they're new to me this particular brand and the secret is actually in the tip design there can you see I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up too well see the profile so you can extract it with the jaws kind of that's a pretty traditional you know plier but the difference is in the tip there where you have vertical striations instead of horizontal ones. I'm not sure if the camera's picking up too well. And that'll bite into the fastener that you're actually trying to deal with, as opposed to, you know, you might typically reach for something like this in a pinch to try and get a fastener out. If you're running out of options, you know, especially if the, the fastener head type, whatever it might be, you know, Phillips or Robertson or some exotics, tri-wings or Torx or whatever it might be. And because of the cut in the jaws of something like these, these jaws, these striations in the in the jaw are actually in alignment with the with the axis that you're going to rotate. So they don't really want to grip at all, you know. As opposed to, as I said, the cut in this is vertical, so it wants to hold on. And it seems to do a pretty good job of it too. Let me show you. All right. So again, this is not a damaged fastener, guys, but you can well imagine if it was that, as I said, this is going to just want to rotate as you twist the pliers to try and extract it because the direction of striations in the jaw is just going to want to rotate out. Plus, being a flat cut jaw, it's going to have very minimal contact, you know. Sorry, struggling to get this in focus here. As opposed to this, it's a circular cut. And it's going to have more contact with the vertical striations. see there how much point of contact this is now this is pushing the limit for this size pliers guys these are not really recommended for bigger fasteners but um as i said there's larger sizes available but most of the stuff i deal with is a fairly small fastener in the workplace anyway 
because of the straight jaws, you just really have a single point of contact basically on each side of the fastener. Big difference. Right. Let's see. I'm destroying my house here. Let's go work on the. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, yeah. Again, pushing the size of the capacities. You can twist that uh, easy. I don't know if you saw me there turning that, right? You could turn that out easy, no problem. Now that's not stripped, nor is it extremely tight. But I think you get the point. Last week, this microwave broke down. And guess what? I couldn't get in yet. Because it's got Torx security fasteners, right? There's a, it's a Torx fastener. I don't know if you can see the pin in the middle there or not. I had to wait a couple of days until my sockets came, my bit set, to, in order to get in this thing. It turned out just to be the interlock switch and it was an easy fix, but I couldn't get in yet. So in a pinch, you don't have the right size bit or the right type of bit, you know, you could use this in order to twist the fastener out and that will twist it. Like any extractor, you know, there's gonna be minimal amount of damage, very little bit. I could get that screw out with the the, uh, the right type of bit, now, you know. Anyway, that's enough said. Vampire tools, vamp pliers, genius marketing. Whoever came up with that, we catchphrase. Sorry about the lighting in here, guys. Not great. Um, yeah. VT dash zero zero one dash five in this case, and oh, actually says right there, it's four uh, four and three quarter inch. 120 mil. Yeah, clever. Quality weave pliers. I think this will get me out of a pinch. Now, there's limitations to everything, of course, right? But it, the idea is, is it worth keeping in your tool bag? Will it earn its keep? And I think this is going to be a keeper. That's it, boys. Cheers.